Hi. Okay, we are gonna talk about taping your mouth while you're sleeping. It might sound kind of crazy, but there's a few different ways to do it. And the reason that we're doing it is because it's so important to be breathing through your nose while you're sleeping. And if your mouth is open, you're gonna be breathing through your mouth. You're gonna wake up with a dry mouth and that's usually a sign that you are breathing through your mouth. So here are a couple ways that you could tape your mouth. Um, one is I love this Mayo tape. It was designed, I believe, by Patrick McGowan, who um, has done a lot of uh, work with breathing. And what I love about it is that it does not actually go over your lips at all. So here's some of what they look like. I've been using them so you can see that some of them are missing and my son has been using them. So you just peel it off. It's kind of stretchy. And so you take this and you just sort of stretch it around your lips. And if you want it to be a little less sticky, you can kind of put it against your nightgown a few times and then it won't be quite as sticky. But it doesn't cover over your lips at all. You're just gonna be able to have a little pressure so that it reminds you to close your lips. And then there's nothing that's preventing you from opening your mouth. So as you're sleeping, this is keeping the muscles closed for your lips. You're hopefully breathing through your nose you could use a breathe right strip over your nose to help with that or mute nasal dilators or other nasal dilators to help keep your nose open. You can also practice using this during the day to make sure that you're comfortable with breathing through your nose and having your mouth closed. But again, this does not go over your mouth in any way. So it's also great for kids for when they're sort of watching the TV like this <laughs> or playing video games and other stuff, we just forget. And so it's something to allow us to remember. And you can talk, obviously, you can open your mouth. And so this one is great, but there are other ways. And you can find that on Amazon. You can just Google it. It's called MyoTape. Other way is 3M Micropore Tape. And so this is, you can find it, it's one inch 3M Micropore Tape. I find it on Amazon, it's super easy to get. You're just gonna take a little bit of it and there's a few different ways to do it. But what I tend to do is I'm gonna fold over the ends of it so it becomes a little easier for me to grab onto when I wanna take it off. And then I make it a little less sticky by just kind of touching against my nightgown, um, which that is, this is my dress, not my nightgown. <laughs> but anyway, what you're gonna do is you're gonna, um, there's a few ways to do it. You could go actually across your lips and then you're obviously not gonna be able to talk or anything else, but you would go like this. It's comfortable, it's easy, and I do that all the time. Um, but another way that you could do it is make it slightly shorter and you can actually just put it right across the same sort of thing, put it against whatever you're wearing to make it less sticky. And then you're just gonna take a little piece and put it right across your lips this way. That way you can still kind of open, you still have the ability to read through your mouth if you wanted to but you're still keeping it closed. And so hopefully you're gonna be breathing through your nose instead of your mouth. Again, you can use um, nasal or breathe right strips or something to that effect, or you can use nasal dilators. Mute nasal dilator is one that I know of, but see, I can breathe, I can talk, I can do all sorts of stuff. And yet this is gonna keep my lips closed while I'm sleeping and it's easy to take off. Okay, so give it a try. And like I said, if you're scared at all about it, just try it during the day and get used to it. Theoretically, if you can breathe through your nose for three minutes, you can breathe through your nose at all times. So good luck, send me questions if you have them and have a great day and don't forget to smile and dance. Okay, let me just say that these things are great to consider if you are going to tape your mouth shut. So do not use my tape or any other tape if you have tummy upset or risk of vomiting, if you have consumed alcohol or sedatives, if you have severe nasal congestion, if you have a severe heart condition or severe breathing problems, please do not use it. But you can use mouth taping to improve your dental health, to help you focus, improve sleep quality and reduce fatigue, improve sleep apnea and support CPAP and to prevent mouth snoring. So these are all things off of this.
here. They are so helpful and hopefully that helps.